Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving yesterday. A lot of turkey. Adam, Shannon, Andy. Um, you know, we're excited to get back out here and obviously play um, against Lipscomb. Uh, you know, obviously we didn't play uh, play like we wanted to against Florida, and uh, hopefully we can get an opportunity to get a little bit better tomorrow, see if we've improved over these last uh, three days of practice. Um, you know, I want to see our defensive intensity get back for 40 minutes. Our attention to detail on that end's got to be a lot better. You know, Lipscomb's going to really challenge us. You know, they run uh, they run the Princeton offense. They're going to be really patient. Um, they're very skilled. They pass the ball extremely well. They back cut you all over the floor. Um, they're going to challenge our guys' ability to stay locked in off the ball, uh, which we have to be really, really good at. Um, and then on the offensive end, you know, I just want to see better execution. You know, I want to see our guys take care of the ball. You know, I anticipate us seeing a lot of zone. Um, some man as well, um, a little bit like what Missouri State did to us, you know, playing 2-2-1 back to 2-3. Um, we got to have good flow, be able to get the ball where we want it um, against the zone, playing inside out basketball. But taking care of the ball and just I just want to see the execution get a heck of a lot better on that end and playing a little better rhythm on, on the offensive end. So, But that's what I'm looking forward to tomorrow um, at noon. we got to be ready to play. I think you may have just touched on this quite a bit, but – you know, this is the, the first time this year we'll see you guys coming off of a loss. So what are the things specifically that you'd like to see out of your guys in terms of, you know, that response? Yeah, I, I, I want to see us defend for 40 minutes. And, and you know, uh, Lipscomb's going to really test us in that. I mean, like like I said, their offense, they're, they're, they are a very good offensive team. They cut well. They pass well. They move the ball. They test you off the ball. you got to be able to stay locked in for 30 seconds. And then I want to see us on the offensive end, like I said, I want to see us take care of the ball. Uh, we, we should have, I mean, our, our turnover percentage has been alarming the last two games, I mean, between UConn and, and, uh, and Florida. And, that, and that's got to be fixed. And I've said it all year. I, I don't care about shooting. Our shooting's fine, and it will be fine. It, it's all about turnovers and decisions for our team to be a really good team. Is the expectation still that – you will have Kiki and Daniel available to play tomorrow? As far as I know now, I have not talked to Dave Fluker uh, or our doctors after uh, practice here. We just got off pr out of practice. But uh, I would anticipate, yes, they practiced full go the last couple of days. And, and it was good to have those guys back out there. Considering Kiki especially has um, been off his feet for about a, a month here, what are your expectations for Kiki and Daniel as they start the season potentially tomorrow? Uh, you know, again, I, I think just uh, number one, you know, being a really good Xavier defender, you know, within our system, um, you know, they're trying to get reps, Shannon, you know, like both those guys hadn't practiced for a, a really long time. So just trying to get them back in the flow, you know, again, they know our defensive system. They should, uh, but just, you know, getting those habits again, you know, two high hands on every catch, jumping to the ball, being in the right spots on ball screen defense and whatnot. Um, on the offensive end, you know, just play hard. I just want to see those guys play hard and, and play to win. I mean, whatever that is, you know, I, I don't know how much they'll play. You know, we'll, we'll have to see uh, kind of how the game goes. But I would anticipate both those guys getting a crack early. With Kiki, especially as a point guard, um, has he been able to pick up the concepts you want him to offensively, even though he hasn't been in them? Yeah, you know, it's, it, it, it's the hardest position to learn. Um, you know, it, it is, and I think that'll be the challenge for Kiki. He's, uh, we'll get him there. We'll get him there. It'll probably be some bumps in the road early here <laughs> with it, but um, but he'll be fine. He's a tremendous player. You're finally at full strength then with Kiki and Daniel. So does that change what you want to do with the team in terms of pressing more or do, or doing anything different? Uh, you know, probably not. You know, I, I think we've been uh, – we tried to press some. You know, against Florida we had to press a little bit more because we were down. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll pick up, you know, and try to use our, our – uh, our depth that we have for sure, you know, our, our, we got to stop fouling. You know, we've been fouling. You look at the UConn and Florida game, just, uh, you know, fouling's a mistake. And to foul 70 feet away from the basket makes no sense, you know. So, um, you know, but we, we want to be able to use our depth, though, with our pressure for sure, just without fouling. It seems early on like one of the storylines around this team is toughness. And I'm curious, why do you think that is such a, a noticeable trait this year when this time last year that wasn't really something that, that people would say about you? Um, you know, I think, number one, we got tough guys in the locker room. That's who we got. Um, but I think sometimes people confuse what, what is toughness. You know, I think everybody defines it in a different way. You know, for me, it's I want to see how tough our guys can be mentally. 
you know, we've been mentally challenged a lot this year. We've been down to Missouri. We're down, you know, we're a tight game with Missouri State. We're down to UConn there late. And then we had the game, then we gave the game away, then we, get, then we won the game. Um, you know, so again, I think just, you know, sticking, sticking with the process, uh, not, uh, not losing your mind, you know, which a lot of people do, you know, throughout the game. And if something's going bad for you individually, maybe something's going bad for us as a team, you know, keeping us all kind of heading in the same direction at all times. Um, I, think, I think we've grown and matured in that in a big way just with our older guys. Uh, Travis, uh, team two looked really relaxed in practice today. It looked like they were, they had a little chemistry going. Yeah. I mean, uh, n now you got a chance at your nine-man rotation. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm excited to see kind of what what we have out there, Andy. You know, it, it'll be when you add new players back into the mix, it can kind of throw you off for a little bit. I think a lot of times because you're still trying to figure out rotations and you're still gonna, it's just it's an adjustment. You know, once you kind of get set into rotations, it's a little bit easier, right? You get a little bit more comfortable. Um, so I'll be interested to see kind of how that plays out tomorrow. Uh, that's one of my concerns, uh, just to be honest, when you add new players to the mix. Um, but at the same time, I'm excited to add those guys. Is it uh, too early to see Kiki at the two? Or, I mean, is he just going to lock in the point guard at the Yeah, point? we're going to lock in with a point guard for him. Uh, you know, I think for a freshman, it's really hard to learn two positions at this level. Um, you know, and, and he had started to learn the point guard position, Andy, before he had got, you know, come down with his injury. Um, so that, that's the position he's going he's gonna to focus on moving forward. Uh, did anything positive come out of the Florida game? The, the, the pressure yeah. defense got you back into it twice, which I thought was like, – they're, they're a pretty good team. You know, um, yes and no. You know, again, I, I think – I think uh, you, every experience is a good experience, right? You know, you, you, you hope to learn – from every from wins and losses and and you know it's like I told our guys you know I I, I don't think we've matured in the right way on the offensive end uh, you know because because you, you look at you know I always we always grade out every possession offensively right and you say okay well you know between turnovers and maybe bad shots bad execution how many possessions per game are you wasting right just just burning just putting on the table and you're just burning them you know it's we wasted 42 percent of our possessions against Florida. And, and and that's a major problem, and and that's been a uh, that's been a it's a pattern. You know, Missouri was the same thing. I think we wasted forty one percent. UConn was forty three percent of our possessions. And for us to become the team that we need to become, we got to grow up on the offensive end. We got to stop turning the ball over, making these ridiculous passes and decisions. We got to take good shots. We have to execute the details. The little things matter against good teams, because Florida is a good team. And, yeah. and you know what, if you're going to try to play one-on-one -on, -one on the first side of the floor, you're not going to beat Florida. <laughs> Guess what, you're probably not going to get a real good shot. You, know, you got to be able to move the ball, reverse it, execute. Um, that's where I want to see our team grow. And I think a lot of times guys listen a lot more after you lose. It's just natural human tendency. You want to learn from losses as well. But I, I want to see us grow in that area. In, in a major way, and that needs to happen sooner rather than later. Uh, can you play better by playing faster? I mean, is that uh, is that a goal? Uh, you know, I don't know with our group yet. You know, I think a lot of our decisions, I'll be honest, Andy, has been, some of our bad decisions have been in transition. You think about the first turnover yeah. against Florida. First time we get the ball, Q throws it right to three Florida defenders. That's our first – That that's your opportunity to really set the tone for the whole game. Like, hey, Xavier is here to play. We're going to execute our way out of trouble, not try to out-talent our way out of trouble. And so I think it's kind of it – we we're going to continue to play fast. But we will pull back those reins. And we will play slow if that puts us in the best, best position to win. Um, and our guys, again, got to mature and they got to make, got to make better decisions. They got to treat that ball like gold. You, you talk about cleaning it up, and I was just curious – how, how much freedom have you given the offense to kind of just play this year? And do you think about tinkering with that and saying, you know what, we're going to run more structured stuff instead yeah. of kind of free balling? You know, I, I, you know, I want to be able to play really fast. And, I, and I, we want to push it off of misses and makes. And we want to be able to flow and play in and let our guys kind of think and just play. You know, and, but again, every group's different. You know, and again, it, it's early. You know, it's it's still November. You know, everybody thinks it's March. I mean, it's not March. We're, we're a few months away from that. So I'm not giving up 
on those things. I think guys that give up on it too early, sometimes you, 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 know, you, you kind of you got to stick with it a little bit. Um, but at the same time, though, you also recognize, like, I want to see improvement. And if I don't see improvement, then we are going to change it. Um, not wholesale, but we will start to change it a little bit and call more set plays. we got to get more stuff in, you know, just to be honest. And usually we put a lot of stuff in over Christmas break when there's no class. Um, you know, and usually that's when we try to really attack our offense heavy. Um, but at the same time, you know, we gotta, we're got we playing to win each game. You know, all, every one of these games is important. Uh, you know, so next up, obviously, is Lipscomb. Is that it? Thank you, guys.